Good morning, YouTube. So, um, I wanted to give you a little bit of an update about the foreskin restoration thing because a lot of you have been asking me how it's going. Um, I think I'm in like year two or whatever. You can look at past YouTube dates. It's been so long that I've been doing it. And um, since the last time I talked to you, uh, I really wasn't seeming to get much of a benefit out of it. Uh, however, I was seeing the skin grow, and doing the pulling really uh, made the outer outer to inner foreskin balance a lot better. Um, at this point, I've probably grown about half inch of skin, and it is starting to give me a tiny bit of coverage. But over the last, I don't know what it's been, eight months, something like that, um, I didn't even seem to be making any progress in terms of sensitivity gains which was very frustrating and made me sort of question this whole concept but I was like well we got to complete the experiment <laughs> so um, just recently I started to get like a tiny bit of coverage on the tip and um, at that point I ex started to experience like this like exponential raise in my sensitivity and so that whole idea of you know, the tip needs to get the keratin layer off it in order for you to have most of your sensitivity. Uh, I'm believing that theory to be very true. Um, I've actually performed some, <laughs> let's say, feats that I w wasn't able to perform. Um, essentially, just I've I've got just barely enough sensitivity to the point where I'm starting to really enjoy ordinary regular sex, uh, penetrative or whatever. Uh, and so the thing is starting to happen to me now. Um, and it's, it's, uh, the, the changes I'm going through in my sensitivity are unpredictable, but coming at a very fast rate at this point. So it was just like, nothing happened for months and months and months. And I just go, okay, I guess it's just, I got to complete the experiment and then, and then I get the benefit. So it took me basically something like two years for me to like really start getting the benefit and from here on out it's like I'm over this 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 initial hard hump and things should be in theory going exponential as I get more coverage and and more protection uh, so um, I'm starting to actually really enjoy sex and it's kind of weird because it's um, it's to a degree that it, it uh, is changing how often I want to do it, and <laughs> it's it's weird to be going through these changes when you're almost 40 years old. Um, I don't know what the uh, what my sexuality will be like at the end of this journey. It's just like it's a thing that I am no longer really in control of. Of uh, it's there's going to be not only physical changes, but behavioral and emotional changes too. And this is like another one of those things where like, yeah, I'm putting myself through a real mind warp uh, of a process. Um, when I lost a, a crap ton of weight on keto, I went through almost like a body dysmorphia for a while. I would keep looking at myself and, and saw myself as fat and even thought of myself as a fat person. Uh, it would make fat jokes inappropriately thinking that I'm one of the in-group. <laughs> like, I just, there is a disconnect between who I actually was and how I saw myself and I feel like I'm in the beginning of going through that phase with this but you know um, at the end of the day all I want to do is be a natural male human being and have all of the things that I should have been given at birth so um, I'm down to do this for another three five years whatever whatever it takes to just get you know to what a baseline of a human anatomy is and I'm actually at this point I'm, I'm a combination of very excited about where this is going to head and a little bit scared <laughs> so uh, I'm not going to do like frequent updates on this I've got a lot of other interesting stuff to talk about um, my experiences are not particularly unique um, there's plenty of other people that can guide you along this process so uh, given that I have a lot of other stuff to talk about and I don't want my channel to turn into the dick talk channel um i I'm, I'm gonna just basically update you every year instead of every six months or whatever because um uh <laughs> basically i think i think what I, what i'm doing with this restoration is is not going to change so it's and and not going to have anything particularly mind-blowing 
occur, it'll just be gradual, so it's not that interesting. There's more interesting stuff to talk about, and I got some more videos for you on so many things because I've been, I've been sort of taking a break to work on my business. So you hear from me on other topics, and thank you for listening to my update. And if you're restoring, good luck. Um, I hope you get over that, that long hump that, uh, that I needed to get over. A lot of people give up and just go back to hating their parents or <laughs> some kind of other, you know, anger, expression of anger for being cut. Um, don't give up. You know, if it, if it makes you mad, if you look down at yourself in the mirror or in the mirror and, and see uh, a penis that's mutilated, you have a way out of it. Or a penis that you view as mutilated, you have a way out of it. It just takes time, you know. Um, so hang in there and talk to you later. Bye.